Welcome back everyone. We have an important health alert. With much of the attention, media attention that is, on opioids, doctors say there is a silent epidemic that's killing millions of people, excessive alcohol use. A new report from the World Health Organization reveals alcohol causes roughly 1 in 20 deaths globally. And authorities fear it's only going to get worse. Dr. Roger LaRoche is an addiction specialist with Alina Health and he's here to help shed some light on this concerning, unfortunate trend. Thanks for being here with us today. Thanks, Adrian. Let's just begin by jumping into this study and talk a little bit about what researchers discovered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's important and what we really need to take note of is how devastating the impact of alcohol can be. Alcohol often is the number one celebratory agent we all use at parties, get together celebrations, and it's fine if someone uses it in moderation. By moderation, we mean maybe just one drink for a woman, two drinks for a man. Any more than that can predispose our bodies to devastating effects long term, including cancers, heart attacks, strokes, this type of thing. And that's what the World Health Organization wanted us to realize. It's way more prevalent than we used to think. And we're looking at folks enjoying a meal, perhaps at dinner time. It's not uncommon for people to have a glass of wine. But it raises the question, what is considered excessive drinking? Sure, sure. Understand that it's different for everybody. But excessive typically means that if a man drinks, say, um, enough to make him uh, legally intoxicated, that's five drinks. For a woman, it's four drinks. And in a week's time, a man should not drink more than 15 or more drinks. A woman, eight or more, she should not drink. Now, you'll say there's a lot of people who do and they're fine. True, like smokers, some people smoke to their 100 and they never have lung cancer, but the majority of people who drink alcohol in what you just called excessive, meaning more than 15 for a guy, um, they will develop long-term health problems, mm -hmm. including Alzheimer's can be precipitated about 10 years earlier. Alcohol has its own form of dementia. And now we're finding that more and more people are having these health consequences now that they're getting older. Let's say someone's listening to this and they're saying, okay, I don't want to have health problems. I'm going to stop drinking right away. Is it okay for them to go to cold turkey? Good question. Um, and the reason it's a good question, if someone is a very hard drinker and has demonstrated in the past withdrawal symptoms, no, they should not go cold turkey. They should go to the hospital and have it monitored because stopping abruptly in the context of prior withdrawal symptoms can be life threatening. I never knew dementia could be linked to alcoholism. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, there is no, more studies showing that the elderly in America, meaning those 65 years and older, are drinking now higher than there's ever been in America's history. Women are drinking more than they've ever drank. Um, uh, racial minorities are drinking more than they've ever. So it's these target groups that are now starting to inflate what now the World Health Organization is calling an epidemic and recognizing that 10 years from now, mm -hmm. we're gonna be drinking even more. How do we help our friends and family who are dealing with it? Honesty through love. You know, knowledge is power. We have to empower them to stop. We have to empower ourselves to say something. We gotta fill ourselves with facts. Okay, very good advice. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank you. For more information about the World Health Organization's report or alcohol abuse, just head over to care11.com. We will post this segment and more on our 11 a.m. show page.